All right, okay. Hope everybody's doing good. Welcome back. We are going to do a review today of the Benson Coal Bucket Dump Trailer. And this is uh, made by Coal Bucket Outlaw. Uh, once you purchase the mod, it is a paid mod. And there will be information in the description on how and where to contact this gentleman so you can get the mod. Um, once it's in your mod folder, you go into uh, trailer purchase. You'll see there she is, Benson. Some information. This is modeled after a 1991 Benson dump trailer. Um, there's only one uh, trailer type, uh, like body style. Um, shows the body length, almost 44 feet. Uh, body width, just over 8 feet. Body height, inside, um, just short of 8.5 feet. Uh, tear weight means that's what the trailer weighs itself, empty, with nothing in it. And that's at uh, 13,500 pounds. Uh, it's a three axle, as you can see there. There are some couple options for you to choose from. Um, in the three axle option, the front and rear axles lift. Um, none of the axles are steerable, and the total length of the trailer is 48 feet. So we're going to click on it. We've done a customized configuration. And there she is. It's a very detailed model. You see the bolt heads. Support, braces, air and electric hookups, Benson name, badges, reflective DOT striping, we're going to customize it in a minute, show you a bunch of options you get with it. Inside, there's the doghouse. By the way, for those that don't know, the doghouse is um, the protrusion inside the trailer where the hydraulic ram goes up in here. And the trailer is done so well, you can see some uh, warning signs there which we'll take a closer look at. But um, you can also see these little doors here are to get in um, for any maintenance needed on that hydraulic ram that sits right in here inside the doghouse. Okay. All right. So you get one trailer style. No doubles or triples or anything like that. Axle configurations. Um, typical axle configuration for this trailer would be three axles due to the weight. But you can't have um, tandem axle if you want. You're going to haul lighter loads. There are some lighter loads in here also. Um, but we are going to build the tri-axle. Colors uh, don't really affect anything. All right, let's go here and see what uh, accessories we can add on. So I'm going to turn the lights on so when I adjust them and add and take, take them away, you can see them a little better. Tarp mounted lights, which I think look pretty cool. So I'm going to leave them on. Markers, standard or stock, custom, and 
you can never have too many lights, right guys and gals? So we're going to leave those on. Um, you can add or take away. the spare tire rack completely you can add it so it has a tire on it or in it or leave it empty or just remove it altogether same thing with the other side you can actually click on it and if you want to get rid of it you just hit the X and it's gone or if you want it there empty you can leave it empty you can add the tire in it. We're going to put the tires in it. Okay, we already did our markers. Um, rims, these are the standard that come with it. Same thing with the tires. Uh, we're going to change these out, but these um, Trilex rims don't actually come with the mod. Uh, you'd get the standard ones that were in-game. For sake of decoration, we're going to add these in. All right, how's that look, guys and girls? Mud flaps. Gives you quite a few options here, a few anyway. So this is a four-piece set, two in the center, one on either side. with the um, lovely indication of working single moms, as I may say. Four-piece stock. The Benson logo is in the middle. Uh, you can have a three-piece like this. And if you notice, they're, they are weighted on the bottom see that if not look in the shadows and you can kind of see there okay or a three-piece stock with one in the middle and one on either side and we're going to go back to the four-piece custom because I like them that's why all right so that is the customization that you will get with this trailer. Um, we're going to take it for a ride. I'm going to show you the loads that you can put on it and the 70 tons of coal load, which is my favorite to haul. Um, for me, part of the fun of the game is heavy hauling. Um, for me, it's not really fun to load up a box trailer with empty pallets and yank it around with a 600 horsepower engine. If I wanted to do, to do that, I'd play a racing game, um, car racing game. That's not, for me, that's not what I enjoy. Um, so the 70 tons of coal that you get with this is very reactive, um, I guess for lack of a better term. Uh, when you have the 70 tons of coal load in this trailer, um, your braking changes. It takes a lot longer to brake, just like it would in real life. Um, and it definitely takes a lot to get started. So if you're going to haul this 70 tons of coal load that comes with this trailer, uh, you want a high horsepower um truck geared properly otherwise you're going to be in trouble if you have to start out on a hill i can tell you that much already <laughs> it is a good time but like i said there are a bunch of other loads that come with it so we'll look at those now all right here we are um, in the vehicle browser you want to click review freight market trailers and there we are with the 70 tons of coal load Pretty good. See the textures there. Got some dirt. See a little bit of a different texture. 
gravel, same thing. See some different textures there. Sand. Some wood shavings. And limestone. All right, here we are. We're gonna take a close look at our Benson coal bucket trailer that we just built. I'm gonna show you a bunch of details uh, using the developer tool. Move around, see the textures. Uh, everything looks really good. I mean, there's details everywhere on this thing. Uh, you can see the caution, danger, and warning stickers, which are worn, which would be worn from a 1991 trailer. Uh, the air, electric, hookups. real close in the DOT striping looks textured as it would be uh, the vehicle information tags worn like they would be um, you see your uh, lift axle tailgate air valves Check out down there, uh, air leaf suspension, which we'll go underneath here in a second, take a look. The lady is on the mud flaps. See the uh, metal weights on the bottom there. We get a Kentucky license plate. I am not an expert, but I believe it is common to have uh, two sets of landing gear on these. Walk underneath. Check out the suspension. Really detailed. Very well done. inside. Not really anything fantastic to check out in there. Dog house talked about before. Oops. And the tarp. The tarp does not work. Um, it is just there for aesthetics, but it does look pretty darn good. But there it is. 
Uh, we're going to take it for a ride, like I said. I'll show you my secret tractor there in a second. Um, I think this is an amazing trailer. Uh, the gentleman that um, owns it. Great guy. Uh, like I said, the contact information will be in the description. Um, for me, I highly recommend it. Turn left.
Never mind. I'll find a new route. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Keep left, and then turn left. Turn left. Finally, we are here. 